Welcome to the channel, Pain in the Patoot here with another TAS video, another gunsmith video. This one is part 19 for the modification of an SVDS. Um, this picture is relatively accurate, but uh, there may be some variations we can play with. Uh, let's have a look and see what you're going to need besides the SVDS. Um, you're going to need a Magpul UBR Gen 2 buck stock, an SAG Mark 1 chassis, a black, and it has to be black, a Magpul MOE pistol grip, a March tactical 3x24x42FFP scope, and that will require um, a scope mount and a suppressor, and that will require a threaded adapter for this gun. So ergonomics should be at least 15, um, so 15 and above. Recoil sum has to be no higher than 400 so 400 and below okay so on the flea let's just look for an svd and there it is and so you can get them for you know 64. Um, as always if you're doing a gunsmith the um, durability has to be 60 percent so this one is barely making it and this one would not make it. So if you bought this gun, it would not work. It has to be above 60. So these two here would work perfectly. All right. Uh, then we go and we're going to look at the SAG. And it's the Mark I chassis, of course. And notice it's available for mechanic level three. Uh, but also it's available here on the free. So you have to buy one of those. And the other thing that you're going to need, um, or there's a couple other things, anyways. So when you pull the top cover to put on the SAG, you're also going to need uh, this SVDS custom dust cover from Mechanic 3. And since we're here, uh, we might as well get the thread adapter. So this is the SVDS. 43 thread adapter, also available for mechanic or on the flea. Um, this looks like it's already got a scope on it, but he wants three million, so forget that. And um, yeah, that's uh, that's what you're going to need to get started. Of course, you're going to also need. Um, oops, just throw that in there. You're also going to need the actual uh, suppressor. So here's the gun. Um, I actually picked this up. So it already has a stock on it. Um, but um, basically for this uh, UBR Gen 2, it does not need a... Oh, I pulled too much off here. I do need... You'll de need this, which is... I forgot a part that I forgot to mention, which is... Um, because I already had it on the gun. The SVDS links arms hinge buffer tube adapter. The gun itself does not come with that. It comes with a different type of stock. So you'll need to purchase this SVDS adapter. Uh, so you remove the old stock, you put the adapter on. You don't need a tube, you simply need the stock. So there we go, we started off in the right direction. So now let's put on the sag. And in order to put on the SAG, uh, jump to the modification screen. So you'll notice here it's here, but it says you can't do it with the uh, SVDS. So you have to remove the SVDS. And now you can put on the SAG. And of course, now you're missing your receiver. So that's why you had to buy this, the custom dust cover. So you put that in and we're good to go. So past that, again, back, and here's that particular scope that they're talking about. And this is the LBAOV Arms 30 mil, because this is a 30 mil um, tack scope. You need a 30 mil adapter, and this 30 mil adapter is available from Ragman. Um, it was kind of the cheapest one, so it's this one right here. The LaBev Arms 30 mil milliliter scope is only 4200. Uh, you should be able to find other stuff, potentially. This one here might actually work, but this is the cheapest one, and it works, so I grabbed it. All right, so we put the scope uh, holder and then the scope, and 
we're getting pretty close to being done, of course we need to put on a suppressor, and the suppressor is the Rotor 43 76.254. Um, it's available on the flea, that's where I got it, so you should be able to get it there too. So I put on the thread adapter, and now I put on the uh, suppressor. And as you can see, the item fits the active gunsmith part 19 quest requirements. So um, I can hand it in. So yeah, that's that's about it. It's actually fairly easy. Everything was available on the flea or from Peacekeeper. Uh, you do have to take off this top part here and the dust cover in order to put on the sag part here. Um, then you also have to buy the new dust cover to complete that, which I've shown you. Um, once you pull off the stock, you will need the uh, buffer tube, um, this little buffer tube thing. Um, boo, boo, boo. Where is it here? Yep, there we go. So this SVD adapter to be ordered to, able to take a buffer tube if you were just building a normal gun. Or this one will go on the buffer tube, but you don't actually need the buffer tube. So there's the um, dust cover you're going to have to buy, of course, I've gone through that. And then there's the sag, basically, which is this piece here. I'm just looking for it. I'll have to pull everything off. Uh, you need the thread adapter for the, mus uh, for the silencer, and then you pick up the silencer. And if we look, it's at 18.5 for the ergonomics, and it had only had to be 15 and above. And this had to be 400, less than 400. So 285 plus another 82 uh, is less than 400. So there's everything that we need. And if I go to the mechanic, uh, his tasks, and gunsmith, and you can see it's ready to turn in. So that's it. Hopefully that will help you with uh, completing this task.